Alright, we're back to playing some more Wild Wings. Hello again, Shade. If you wish to leave my abode, you can find a teleportation device to the south of the main living room. Okay, let's go back to Caliban. You got to meet Zephy, I always wanted to see him for some advice. I'm too scared to even set foot on that island though. Okay, so we need to find Caliban. I suppose we can check... Uh, oh, here we go. Hello, Shade. Hey, we got an echo map from Zephyr. I was wondering if you could put it it in the ETP real quick. Sure, but Shade, I want to talk to you about something. What's on your mind? You know the Machinators, yes? Those three weirdos we've been running into? Yeah, I think I know them. No, you don't know them. Huh? Shade. The Machinators have quite a bit of history. They weren't always such a small group. Twenty or so years ago, the Machinators were almost twice their size. So like six people? They were known across the span of the Earth as fighters for freedom. It's uncanny now, thinking back to all of that. They de develop considerably. Things used to be so different. They fought for the good of not just bad kind. But for everybody that was being mistreated. I wouldn't say they were mercenaries. No, they were much more focused on their goal back then. You mentioned they were almost twice their size. So there were four or five of them? Indeed, five. There was Silas, the Blind Cannon, Melvola, the Xeno, Bresnik, the Swordsbat, Blackheart, the Witch, and then there was half eyed the Sharpshot. Silas, codename Envy, was a blind cannon who sought retribution. His heart was not in the right place, and he knew from the start he would be become our downfall. Why Blackheart let me in, though, I will never understand. He was ruthless and an absolute psychopath. I kept wondering about the reason for this. The reason he was let in. I kept thinking that per perhaps she just wanted to catch different factions of guard. Silas definitely wasn't the only weird addition to the team. Next came Melvola, a rogue Sino. Sounds crazy, but you've probably already seen them. Mel Melvola was even crazier than Silas, I believe. So full of hatred and ang anger. She left her own faction, feeling unfulfilled. If memory serves me correctly, you're trying thing over the Sinos. Made, e made it even worse for her, although that was way after I already left. She was a lot more vocal in her lunacy. Silas was the more quiet, conserved type. The rest of the members were bats. One of them was named Bresnak. No one knew his actual name, but he was known for his unre unrelenting bravery. He was an incredibly... Agile and powerful swordsbat. Like you, he probably could have taken on the cannon army head on. Nothing would face him, and it may be because he simply did not fear dying. Blackheart, despite her name, was very much the moral support of the group. She was the main advisor as well and coordinated all of our missions. She really held the group together with her wit and cunning. She was incredibly powerful as well. A very able user of magicka. She was not terribly cruel, but we still feared her just for the aura she gave off. 
Then there was half I. Me. What? Yes, I was one of them shade. But that was before everything broke down. Ever since that cannon Silas was welcome, things went downhill fast and I had to get out. Machinators. We weren't as kind as generous as people thought. Those nice things we did were simply masks for what truly happened behind the curtains. We went to extremes to exact justice and make things right. But it wasn't right. Not at all. It was a good move for me to disband from the group. As you probably now know now, Goff has greatly influenced their mindsets. The machinators are no more. Now it's just three evildoers out for blood and out for something else unknown to me. That's what scares me the most. This Goff character clearly has malicious intentions. But it's all beginning to come back and hit us. And, of course, as you might expect, I wasn't the only one to get out. First it was me. Then Blackheart. Then Brassneck. I still have contact to Blackheart, and she fares well, thank goodness. Brassneck, however, I have never heard a single word from since we disbanded. What about the younger female? Hmm? Distress, or Esther, I think she was called. I do not know of her. Must be a newly recruited. But now I fear for all of her safety, for things are only getting worse, and our fate is becoming more clear. The eye of the storm is upon us. Guff's coordination and his devilish schemes are beginning to unfold. Calvin, stop talking for a moment. This is almost too much. And my brain is getting overwhelmed. You were one of the machinators back then, I mean. So you left because you were tired of their methods? They were transforming. Our ideals were not perfect, of course. But you had a mission to help people. Now they are only helping themselves. I don't know what they really want to do with that vampire. But it is nothing good. So what are you going to do? Huh? What a question. You mentioned something was closing in. Right, it's them. For some reason they need us back with them in order to accomplish their evil plot. But that's not going to happen. I have a vague idea of what to do next. But you won't have to concern yourself over it. But you make it sound like you're going to come here. Let us stay and fight them off. No shade. Things are not going to turn out that way. Trust me. This is for the better. You have to let me handle this my own way. That sounds very fishy to me, Caliban. If you are going to do anything to the people here... Don't get in over your head. You have no idea what I'm going to do, but rest assured I won't drag anybody else into this. All the residents will be safe. That's including your mother, Shade. I have a great pride in what I helped to create here. I feel that this is my task to bring redemption for all the wrong I've done. I want to do, to do something right, something good. And I believe I have done that. I want to do so much more. But it appears that it's going to be put off for now. The more I think about this, the more I feel at ease. I'm ready to perish. Caliban! But like I said, don't fret over my life. Just worry about yours. Yours is most important, at least. That's what she convinced me. She? There is nothing more for me to say on this matter. This may be the last time in a while you will be visiting here. If there's any final wish if there's any final things you wish to accomplish here, go ahead and do it now. You said that uh, you had an echo map for me. Go ahead and sing it to me. There you go. Caliban, you're not actually saying goodbye. 
I, I feel we will eventually meet again. We just have to see all of this plays out. We all have our own goals. Do not make me stop you from doing yours. Caliban, thank you for everything. Please take care of the people here. I will do my best. Even if I am to go away, Ariel, your mother would be the most excellent leader my people could ever have. Farewell, Shade. Touch of the sphere. So, I guess you changed your mind. I, tr I tried to stay them off as long as this old body was able. You asked me to return if things got worse. Yes, I did. But what about you? What are you going to do? There is no need to worry about that. I will face my own fate eventually. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to go through with this? Yes. I am sorry this couldn't turn out any other way, Caliban. It's alright. Everything's alright. I know Shade will take care of everything. Besides, I'll come to peace with this outcome. The one final thing I ask is that you keep watch over the people here for as long as you can. I will try. Close your eyes now. This will be quick. Thank you. Is everyone okay? Yeah, shade. Fine and dandy. It's not like the rain sucks or anything. Hey, rain is awesome. It's gross. There's so much mud all over the ground. I'll admit, it's one of the only things I really liked about that island where you and I met, shade. It uh, does seem pretty serene around there. But wow, this is probably the weirdest looking forest I've seen in my life. I know, right? To my knowledge, it isn't even autumn, and all of the tree's leaves are all reddish and stuff. But I would be lying if I say it's not gorgeous. The mud is getting between my toes. I don't know much about this forest in particular, but this one may be of the mystical type. Mystical? Hmm, I'm not 100% sure, but there is something in the air that gives me that impression. I've heard tales of forests like these being home to mystical fairies. Fairies? Surely you've heard of fairies. I have. It's just... Once upon a time I was partners with one. Huh. Fairies are very territorial and don't take, take kindly to newcomers. They will most likely try and play tricks on people. How did you ever become friends with one? Uh, she was inside the ring or something. Hmm, what's wrong? 
I know of some tales. Perhaps I also know of some facts about this fairy community. I just can't remember it all at once right now. Well, as we take a stroll through this damp place, perhaps we'll come back to you. Maybe we even meet some. It's probably the best if we don't meet any. Remember that they like to play tricks and lure visitors into traps. Let's just be careful. Uh, guys? Where's Dick? Sweet Nocturna! How did I not see he was missing until now? Uh, well, at, at least nobody else got lost. I just really hope he didn't stray too far. Ha! Ah, I find this funny. There's nothing funny about this. I mean, he's gone straight over our radars. It's humorous. It's not like he's a very chatty guy anyway. It's hard to notice him sometimes. Quit that! Let's just get our bearings and see if we can find them. Do you think the fairies can help us if we find any? It's, uh, it's definitely worth a try. But let's not count on it. Four enclosures, four raindrops never leave the trail. They have found solace in places with no enemies. What's with this? It looks like an opening, but it's solid.
In four enclosures, raindrops never leave their spot. In a place without enemies.
Wait, there's Dick. Dick! Damn it. Still missing one spot, I think. Yeah, it should be here, somewhere. That's gotta be all those these raindrops. Let's go back to where we started and see if anything's changed.
Poxelation. Poxolu. Well, look at this. What is this thing meant to be? The piece at the top appears to be shaped like an arrow almost. Do you guys hear that? I think something may have happened. The upper pedestal is the only one not lit. Maybe we'll find something to the north. Huh? There are theories here! Hmm, very interesting. They don't look terribly surprised to see us. And that means they've definitely been messing around with us by planting those puzzles. Most likely. You said you interacted with a fairy before. Yeah, her name was Aurora. She was inside of the Tetsu ring when I found it. And she spoke your language. Yes. Are you implying they don't normally talk? Not in our language, no. To up the ante, they don't even communicate in a frequency we can even hear. At least that's the case for most bats. So you understand them then? Hmm, good guess. I'm very rusty though, so I don't know if I'll be of much help. Well, can they understand us? I'm not entirely sure, but I do know they are very intelligent. I rem remember reading their multilingual... But that was another time. I don't know if these fairies in particular are multilingual. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Hey, do you guys know where our friend Dick is? He's a pretty normal looking silver wing bat. Brown hair, teal eyes. They seem to have an idea of who he is. They may even know where he is. That's great. Let's remember to be cautious. The fairies may have more games for us to go through. I guess it makes sense to expect the worst in this situation. I wouldn't even be surprised. You really want to go ahead and follow them. I don't know if we should take the risk. We have to take the risk if we want to find Dick. We might actually have him somewhere and I won't let him lay a finger on him. Well, I'm with you, Shade. No matter what you choose. This room looks almost exactly like the last one we were in. Whoa. Where did the doorway go? Well, I expected something like this. Just not really in the whole mind screw it kind of deal. Looks like we only have one way to go, and that's to the bottom. Shoop.
This crystals has some kind of binding spell, I can't fly over them.
Hmm. Something odd here. loops locked Monk, is that really you? Shade? How, how, how did you... Ah, forget it. Hey man, you got to help me out. I've been looking for a way to get out of this whack-ass crystal prison, but failing miserably. Alright, stay calm, I'll help you out. Where's Cacti though? He totally ditched me, I'm sure of it. Ditched you? That doesn't sound like something a friend would do. Okay, well maybe that was jumping to conclusion. But he's been gone for a long time now. He said he'd find a way to get me out. Oh no, I hope he hasn't died or anything. Damn those fairies for doing this. What a bunch of lunatics. Yeah, they'll be having fun with us as well. Look, just stay put on a fun way to release you. Thanks, Shade. Once you do, maybe we can find Cacti together if you don't bump into him. Uh, I wouldn't want to bump into him. That would hurt. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, you don't have better use for this key than me right now. Winky. Alright, round two of Shenanigan Island. Juicy Mosquito. Oh, okay, I can look.
Nope. Angel feathers. Idea what I did, but at least it's smooth. Okay, that ice is very effective. Let's use ice.
Oh boy. What is this? What? This one should at least go here. Okay, I can reuse. Well, I can't reuse that one, but.
Haha. Okay, that helps.
You did it! You're the Batshade! The Batman! Alright, settle down with that. Sorry. Didn't have much of a hard time out there, did you? Not really, it's all good. Let's see if we can find Cacti. There's actually something I need to discuss with you guys. Well, hey, I'll do anything for you at this rate. You just saved my sorry butt. Let's just keep an eye out for those damn fairies. Who knows what they'll get up to next. I think at this rate we might have impressed them by keeping on top of their game. Well, let's not hold our breath. Maybe it's a speed thing?
man. Okay, I have no idea how this... Hold that one.
not sure how I landed myself here, but you're a life saver shade. Good luck you're itching to get some goods. I'm glad those blasted fears didn't grab anything. Let's see what you have.
I still believe there's something here. Is there a specific color? I need to eat them in. Okay. Uh huh. Fuck. So I need to find the green one.
Mishka. Wait. Let's stop here for a bit. What's wrong? Well, why are we walking around anyway? It's not wise to just stand around out here. It makes you an easy target. Let's just stop. For a moment. I need to think things through. I mean, it's been so long since I've seen you. Or at least it feels that way. I'm just finding it hard to remember the times we had together. Yes, unfortunate, unfortunately. What about you? Do you remember anything? I do. I remember everything. We were separated when we were very young, of course. But I remember it like it was just the day before. Tree Haven was not perfect. And it did not have a perfect leader. Granted, it is too much to ask for perfection. The only reason you can't remember a thing from back then could only allude to one cause. Frida. Frida? Dick. What we did back then. It wasn't right, and I know that. But what she did afterwards was for unforgiva unforgivable. Mishka, spill it out. What did she do? What did we do? We were forbidden to gaze at the sun. You know this, yes? That's uh, actually still in effect. Hmm? I suppose I've lost track of that. It's been a while. But freedom was so sweet and started to forget the rules. You're saying we looked at the sun? Yeah. It was a dumb little dare, but we did it. And luckily for us, owls caught us playing this game. They could have torn us apart right then and then, then and there, but Shade Silverwing's mother actually rescued us. So did Frida. No, that's a lie. Ariel tried to rescue us both, but there was no remaining hope for me. She wanted to rescue me too, but Frida, she told her off. I could have died, but I suppose I'm dead to them. Mishka, how could I just forgotten all this? Well, it's not your fault, really. After all, somebody had a part to play in that. Frida tried to reason with those damn birds. She let them have me to appease them and to save her own hide. After that, it was just history to them. I served as an example, no doubt. Surprisingly enough, I still did not perish. The Machinators saved me from their talents. The Machinators? So that's why you're a part of them. And it's funny because that is why, when my life took a turn for the better, sure, they turned me into a bl cold-blooded killer, but I could not resist their embrace. They promised me power, and I saw the skills I car carried in me. I saw the potential in me. Skills? We already had a taste of it back at Paradise. You remember what you saw. Imagine seeing things like that every single time you want to sleep. They wanted to help me control this strange power, but even today I have failed to do so. Mishka, I, I wish I knew. Ignorance is blistic. But there are some things that can't remain covered for very long. And I want our colony to see that. Frida is a coward and will not fight for her people. I don't understand. Haven't you figured out how you forgot about the incident already? Frida made you forget. The trauma was too much for you to handle. She also did not want to risk setting off your rage so early. Like me, you were still young and did not have a full grasp of your own power. She caused you to forget about me, Dick. Your own sister. Can you imagine how devastated I was, watching you in this distance not having a care in the world? Mishka. I'm sorry that it has taken me so long to come out to you. I became more and more detached as time passed. Our world became all anew, 
and eventually it all turned into what seemed like a vivid dream, or a nightmare more appropriately. I focused so much on enhancing my powers, exposure to all that hatred and pain swelling up turned me bitter. And that's why I must make her pay. I understand. Good. Will you join me then? I'm not sure where to go from here, but when we find Frida, we'll confront her. It's best that you do the confronting first. I can't let her notice me right away. Who knows what she'll pull if that happens. Right. What do you think? Dick! He's over there, guys! Hey, Dick. Whoa. It's you again. Wait, who is that? What perfect timing. Just when I thought we were getting somewhere. Dick, did she hurt you at all? No shade, she didn't. I want you guys to cool it, okay? She's my sister. What the hell, she is? We're in the, we're in the middle of something. Show off, why don't you? Dick, back at the cannon goal, this lunatic took you over and used you to fight us. You gave me no choice, Birdbrain. The power was already unstable. I was merely trying to get Dick to see. You aren't making any sense. I know that she's your sister, old Dick, but I'll have to side with the run tear. That chick's bonkers. We aren't going to let you harm him again. Shade, don't. Your arrogance is annoying. I think I will teach you all a lesson. My brother and I have a plan. We don't need your saps tearing all of it apart. Come on then. He's sticking with us, and there's nothing you can do about it. Your puny minds cannot comprehend what is at stake, even after everything you've been through thus far. What are you on about? You know exactly what's going on. Goff wants to use the ring again, but you also need something else. And that is what we are after. You may have an understanding of his ulterior motives. What you don't know is that those close to you are not as trustworthy as they seem. As I have said before, my brother and I have a plan. I longed for this moment for every waking day since I was abandoned. Abandoned? Who are you aside from being Dick's sister? Uh, hello. She's the psycho woman from the guild, Jade. What utter disrespect! I am the silver thing you all forgot about under Frida's wing. So ignorant and adamant. She has really kept you all in the dark, hasn't she? I don't blame her, honestly. The entire colony would have turned on her if they knew her history. Stop. Stop fighting right now. It doesn't have to be this way. Dick, your friends want to ruin our plan. No, Mishka, look, this is going too far, okay? What do you mean? You aren't actually going to give up on me, are you? No, I never said that. Just listen for a moment. I don't want to leave my friends behind, alright? 
Don't think that they don't care about you, because that's wrong. We will keep looking for Frida. And I promise you, we'll confront her. I won't let go of that. Excuse me? What about Frida? <sighs> Shade, Frida needs to be stopped. What do you mean? What is she doing? She. Uh, it's not about what she's doing, it's about what she already did. I had forgotten about my sister for what seems like an eternity, because Frida went ahead and made me forget. I don't get it. Why would she do that? Mishka and I gazed at the sun when we were newborns. Frida gave Mishka up to the owls to save herself from repercussions. That, and there's something about her, I don't know. I think she may be up to something. Why do you think she disappeared so suddenly? I won't deny she's up to something. Shade? No, Dick is making sense here. I always had it in my mind that this whole thing was too fishy. Right? I mean, I don't know what exactly she is doing, but I feel it's nothing good. Either way, Shade, Mishka and I want to confront her if you ever do encounter her again. I can't believe she did this to me. Did this to my sister. Alright. We'll see to it she explained this whole thing. I have a lot of respect for Frida for what she has done for me. Let's not jump into this too hastily. Fine. Mishka, does this sound good to you? Whatever. Alright, good. Thank you. Have I had you of using a walking talking cactus with an orange cape around these parts? No, I haven't, but I see that Mog is with you. You're damn tooting I'm with you. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have to find my, ahem, buddy. Crap, I forgot to mention anything about the phoenix. He went missing too. Oh, I'm right. But he disappeared even before Cacti went up and abandoned me. Ugh, why is everything so messed up? Well, well, we'll see if you can find him around here, but we shouldn't stay for long. I, I saw the cactus you are referring to. You did? He should still be not too from he should still be not too far from here up north. Do you even know what these two really are? Maybe I do. Very well. I suppose I can trust you to make the best decision then. Uh, uh Shade, what is she talking about? Don't worry about it. Let's just find Cactin quick before those fairies get us again. Ah, you're right. Damn those fairies to hell. Mishka, are you... I'll be fine on my own. I'm sorry I can't come with you. I really wish I could, but I can't just abandon my friends like this. Um, don't worry about it. I have things I have to take care of anyhow. Don't let me stop you. But don't forget about me. Never again. Dick, you gonna come with us? Of course. Let's go and find our cactus friend. Dick has rejoined the party. Your party received 5050 XP.
Yeah, I think that's a good place to stop.